Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin. Uh, I need a large block for an air grain goblet and I'm aiming to get it out of this uh, cedar log. Uh, now I want to half cedar log as you can see. I split this uh, with, uh, with wedges and uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do is to get the, uh, the, the, the split end grain off and I hope to end up with a piece uh, around 8 inches long, uh, 200 millimeters. So it'll be a 200 millimeter tall cup. That's what I'm after. So you can see this is a uh, split surface. It's pretty undulating and it means it's going to rock as a blank going through the saw. So I'm going to try putting it on a little sled. It's actually the first time I've done this and uh, never really thought about it before. So the theory is that, that will then support it all the way through um, whilst I take the uh, take the ends off. So what I'm trying to do is get back to kind of clean material so I can see what's happening on the end grain. You can see here it's a little bit rotten and I've uh, taken what bark off that I can. Anyway, do the other end first. This does not have a break, this saw, which is sort of jam it. Very nice. If you're buying a saw and can afford it, get one with a foot brake. This was the last of the this model which went through without one, I think. So that gives me one end. We'll just have a look at the let's have a look at this end. So you can See, without very much effort you can break it and that's where the defects are. Firewood. Because if you're really hungry you could make it into little light bulbs or something. Right, same the other end. What I want to do is to get it down so that I can put it through the saw on end. Put a night flat surface there. Um, yeah, I'll get the other end off first. And I've just slid it up the end of the board so that I'm not cutting into my sliding board. It's going to cut about there. So. big split to there, split there, split into there. Not looking good for a large block at the moment. If it looks any better on this end. Split into there, splits here. We're still looking at a vaguely not too bad looking bit in there and I'm thinking of a circle so uh, I can ignore that little part of the square so I've got a flat surface there put it on there and put it through the saw that way and this will cut up to 13 inches 330 millimeters this is about to come off, I hope. Yeah. All right, so I've got a mass of little splits there, so, and that's rocking a bit. That's stable enough there, right. So that can be broken down later. I don't need all the pith and stuff here. So there's a split into there, split here. Split there.
might just try and get some there's a split into there as well uh, this is looking the most likely bit so I'll take a cut through there so I can see that split so there's the length of the split coming in from the outside it's going in towards the center of the log oh there's a huge split here huge all the way down to there I'll take this one first this is not looking very promising at the moment at least not very promising for what I want if I look at this commercially there are at least two spatulas in there so uh, you know, so I can make 20 or 30 dollars off that piece so we're now looking at something which is 100 mil square in fact no that's good so there's a little bit of a suspect split this side. I can cope with having a corner on a square because it's going to become round. More spatulas or something in there. So I'll take that bit, turn it round and that's going to be the... It should give us a square. And get rid of that split. More spatulas in there. I have a split coming in there. I didn't want a piece this long, so get down to there. Now, if I wanted to make little beads or something, I can then cut this up this way. One, two. four little beads and there are lots more in there so if you're really hungry you can do that kind of thing 50 cents each dollar each now just see what splits there are there solid that required effort Not so solid. Right. That doesn't want to break. There's a hint of a hint of a split opening up there if I bend it that way. And a hint of it there too, but basically if I soak that in super glue, I think that'll hang together for the job uh, in the base. I've got my blank. Just see if I get another one. The first thing is to get a, a flat at right angles to the base. Long split down there. Right, split on the corner, I can cope with that because this is going to be round. This is actually looking better than the other block, so. Good. Uh, I can see a big long split down here, all the way down, down to there. 
So that's not going to be doing it, but I hope it's tailing out. So I'm going to take a lump of that off and see what's happening down here. Less of it by the look of it. So it's basically down to about about a quarter of the way. So that is going to make that will have to make a smaller one. So I'll just cut it on that line down the split. Split there. Two little dishes. That's going to be quite nice because this is going to be almost all heartwood. Whereas this that I'm cutting off this sapwood. So that's uh, quite a nice clean blank and I can just seal the ends of that and uh, put it aside and uh, date it 2.24 cedar. So with the rest of it, just a question of cleaning it up, squaring it up, getting rid of the real rubbish, and then you can set aside until it's going to be useful. Split, 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 split the line. So just follow the split. Right, so there's a couple of spatulas in there. Actually, there's another one here. Or is there? No, it gets a bit thin at the end. So we'll get off this stuff. Get a clean face there. Splits all over the place. There's enough weight here that I can have the blade coming over a, a space. But what can happen is that that can tip over. And if your fingers are in the way, you get a scar, as I have on these two. That's if you retain your fingers. That end is rocking a bit, so I want to flatten that. That also gives me a chance to see where the splits are. That looks nice and clean. So I'm looking now at, a, at the board coming through there, so I need to cut that off. Right, so this time I am going down with no overhang, so I start there. That's a sharp edge, no point in keeping that. I can see a few small splits here, so I'll just mark those. just the one. So I'd be looking at, uh, oh there's a split to there too. Otherwise seal the ends and uh, deal, with it, deal with it later. So there's certainly one bowl in there and in here there's a, there's a smaller bowl or you could cut it into squares and have box blanks do that with that end as well, come to that, any little kind of end grain projects.
down here that's uh, firewood and this one I will also just uh, there are splits coming in here and here very thin there so you're not going to use that at all not going to use the other sharp edge but there are, yes, there'll be something useful in there at some stage. Even if it's a tool handle or something that, um, yep, just seal the ends and leave it until it dries out. So here we are, the final thing. Um, I got the squares I want. Uh, this will all make something in the way of spindle work. I've got a couple of bowl blanks possibly at the bottom. These will make little boxes and things. And I've also got a whole bag of firewood.